This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Professional Science. Seriously, bro. And I must say that, way to go. Okay, I was in the middle of this video about when they changed the orbit to 400,000 years, and then they changed it again. So I guess they couldn't wait until I finished my video, eh? Part 47. How much has Ison's trajectory changed? And by no. If you can answer it, I'll give you a special infrared star. Which is it? Can we get some data out of there? Professional science. Change the orbit to 400,846 years. Professional science. We're all in this together. Right. Right on, right on. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. This episode is to be continued because NASA screwed it up by just now changing the orbit to like 580,000. Also, reports are coming in fast and furious that Ison has disintegrated and is totally dead. And it hadn't even reached the sun yet. People are saying there's no way it's going to make it. Well, that's interesting, huh? It's all very interesting. It's interesting that they're changing it so much. All right, to catch up to speed, even though the stories are now moving at almost light speed, or at least faster than life speed. Originally, Comet Ison's orbit was not available. Then, they changed it to 10,000 years. Then, they changed it back to not available. Then, they changed it to over 400,000 years. Then they changed it to 586. I don't know, they did something to where it was like had 666 in it. So they changed the orbit. It's like plus 500,000 years with 666 in it. Practical jokers like you guys have been the whole time. Professional science. It's interesting that they are changing it so much. The mantra for comets is we'll have to wait and see. Can we get some data out of there? Can you guys? The big question is, how much has the trajectory changed? Has it changed at all? Can we even tell? Does anybody know what's going on? I'm sure it's changed a little. Maybe a bit. Does anybody know? I tried to ask for some super science guy that was making fun of me. Oh, Mr. Comet Expert, you should be able to do the math to tell us exactly how much the trajectory has changed. And I guess he doesn't realize it. I don't think just because you have a calculator it makes you the king of all heavenly celestial mechanics. All right? So if anybody would like to put out an orbital or trajectory change any more than JPL has, love to hear it. Ideas, love to hear it. So who knows what is going on? Maybe they will explain the perturbations to be continued for sure well phil plate says that right now there's no way to know which is interesting and awesome he also goes on to state the mantra for comets is we'll have to wait and see so i'm kind of impressed with science that they're growing up a little and they're admitting that they're not perfect and they do not understand everything proud of you science all right another thing a lot of people started poo-pooing in their short pants because apparently 400,000 years ago was when the last ice age started. Or if you look at the stories from 2010, it's when the first human beings were found to have remains from a cave in Jerusalem, Nazareth. So, you know, even if Ison brings an ice age, our government has guaranteed us the ice age will not hurt anybody. It'll be a good ice age. It will probably counterbalance the global warming and Comet Ison will solve the global warming. And Comet Ison will solve the global warming problem. And that government will have to figure out another way to mandate carbon tax credits. Which I guess is tax for breathing. Does anybody else think it's weird that science is like, oh my god, human beings are killing the planet with global warming. But then science is like, hey, it is totally cool if we suck out one quadrillion square miles, square feet of cubic feet of oil from the middle of our planet. You know, that's weird. We're still not worried at this point. The only thing I even remotely worry about is the dust. Nobody likes to do the dusting, so we don't want Earth to get double dusted or single majorly dusted. All right, that's it. That's, that's always been the dust. So I don't think ice is going to pop and hit us. I mean, even if it was, we still got like a 1 in 1,200 chance, right? Wait, no, wait, flip that. So, I don't know. By the time I get off work, maybe the orbit will change again. See if you guys can find out, A, has the trajectory changed? Though even if it had, I don't think anybody will tell us. So that seems kind of moot. B, ask them. Hey, Phil, where did they get that number? And if you trace it back to that exact spot, is there anything there? Like Starbucks, a booby bar, uh... Perihelion, guys, two days away. Less than 72 hours, less than 48 hours. I don't know. I can't do this. It's real close. Okay, exciting stuff. I can't believe this stuff, like, keeps just getting... All right, you're with me? Excellent. And that is enough. All of a sudden, Amy Mainzer, who I couldn't get to talk to me or about Ison for months, up until I got blocked 
Now, all of a sudden, she's talking about ice and everywhere. People keep telling me she's on the TV talking about it. She's Twitter tweeting it all over the place. Ice and this, ice and that. Something perturbed ice and. What is going on, man? You got Carl Batoms putting out a Mayday, Mayday. Okay, that was my interpretation, but that that's what I interpreted. You got awesome pictures that are showing ice and to be like super duper ginormous, bigger than everything you can imagine in our solar system. It'll be a good ice age. It will probably counterbalance the global warming. And comet icing will solve the global warming. Comet icing will solve the global warming problem. And seriously, Amy, I know you probably never, ever have time for Thor news, but if you ever meet somebody who has watched Thor news or has the ability to tweet you, can one of those people please ask her what she thinks perturbed icing into action and motion? What heated up icing's engines? made it just go towards our sun. Like a sperm to an egg. She can come up with a better analogy. She's more than welcome. And I'll start using that one. I want to know, what does she think perturbed it? And what are the possibilities of things that perturbed it? She has time to answer that question. I think that is a relevant, logical, fascinating question. If you can answer it, I'll give you an infrared star. Okay, great, thanks. All right, you're with me? Excellent. Can we get some data out of there? Can you guys? You can ask Miss Mainzer, tweet her, at Amy Mainzer, A-M-Y, M-A-I-N-Z-E-R or at Stargazer, Carl Batons. He's cool. Be cool. Be cool to everybody. If you represent Thor News or this, please be nice. Okay, thanks. Or Phil Plate at Bat Astronomer. And just ask him. Professional science. Where did you guys get the new orbit? Orbital range? Curious. We're all on the same team here, right? Professional science. Thank you, corporations. Professional science. Thank you, corporations, for helping supplement science's research and studies. Professional science. I bet anybody a hundred bucks that the orbit would change. And they were like, no, no, no. We got these things locked down. I was like, no, no, no. You don't. And I'm the king of a thousand crushes, ladies and gentlemen. My heart never gets broken, you know, if, to have a crush on all these fine women. Never get close enough to get burned. All right. Let's go set something on fire. <laughs> Just kidding. It's raining. It's cold. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. And hey, with Perihelion right around the corner and me getting off my day job. I'm pretty sure you'll get Super Bowl-like media coverage from Thor News from here until that Helion. So yay for that, huh? There are times I'm glad my, my love life is at negative a thousand. Thank you, ladies in the DFW area for not being attracted to me at all. Wait, strike that. Thank you, the ladies that I'm attracted to in the DFW area for not being attracted to me. Without y'all, I wouldn't be able to get all my work done. I mean, I still can't get all my work done. I'm so backlogged on videos, you would not believe it. Brown dwarfs, rogue planets. Shit, I got pink planets. Brown dwarfs, rogue planets, pink planets. I got fun angles planned for those videos. All right, well, you know. All right, well, as long as I get up pretty late to kiss by the middle of December, no complaints. No complaints even if I don't. Whatever, I've had a blast. woo -hoo! And I feel heavy metal. I have no clue what is going on. Neutron star, scientist, Amy Mainzer thaws from her deep freeze, and that's causing some sublimation. And I just want to say for the record that my crush on Amy Mainzer is harmless. A, I have a feeling she's not into awesome guys like me. B, it's harmless, man. I got a thousand crushes. I mean, it's not Rosie O'Donnell on Tom Cruise harmless. Granted, you put me in a field watching Common Ice with a blanket, some wine, well, Amy, two glasses in, I'm probably definitely gonna try and kiss her. Because if you're laying in a field with a girl on a blanket drinking wine, that, from what I understand, is an invitation to kiss them at some point in the evening. If not, you are then on a date with Lucy from Peanuts. And she has just pulled the football from you, bro. All right, Charlie Brown, get better taste of women. Now let's go. Professional science. And Amy Mainzer. Professional science. Professional science. No complaints even if I don't. Whatever, I've had a blast. Woohoo! And I feel heavy metal. Woohoo! I have no clue what is going on, but what is that strange, robotic, oscillating noise trying to hypnotize me to not being as funny? You aliens fight weird. Anybody want to tell you all that? All right. Professional science. Change the orbit to 400,000 
846 years. Professional science. Professional science. Thank you, corporations. Professional science. Thank you, corporations. Professional science. Thank you, corporations. We're all in this together. Right. Right on, right on. All right, all right, all right. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames, they went higher. Man, it sure feels fun to talk today. All right, tapping out. I need at least three hours of sleep before work, I guess. Anywho, I'm going to wrap this one up to be continued for sure. Okay, later. God bless everybody. See, I think we all believe that this comet could be deep space magic, baby.